Astrobotic Technology is an American privately held company that is developing space robotics technology for planetary missions. It was founded in 2008 by Carnegie Mellon professor Red Whitaker and his associates, with the goal of winning the Google Lunar X Prize. The company is based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 2012, the company signed collaborations with Carnegie Mellon University, International Rectifier, ANSYS, AGI, Alcoa, and Caterpillar. In 2015, it started a collaboration with the German Aerospace Center, DLR, and in June 2016, it signed a collaboration agreement with Airbus Defence and Space and with DHL. Topic: History The team articulated an ambitious goal from the start in 2008, they hoped to be the first commercial operation to land their spacecraft, Red Rover, on the Moon, using the lander, named Artemis Lander. Since its formation, Astrobotic has maintained a spot in the top three rankings for Avedo's third-party Google Lunar X Prize scorecard. The company's first running prototype of Red Rover was completed the same year, and on July 28, 2008, NASA awarded Astrobotic funding for its Regolith Moving Methods proposal. In 2009, Astrobotic began to receive a series of Small Business Innovation Research (SBIR) funding from NASA, totaling over $795,000 to investigate prospecting for lunar resources. On October 15, 2010, NASA awarded a contract to Astrobotic for Innovative Lunar Demonstrations Data (ILDD) firm fixed price indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contracts with a total value up to $30.1 million over a period of up to five years, and in December, NASA's $500,000 ILDD project for further lunar demonstrations data was awarded to Astrobotic, originally named Red Rover and Artemis Lander. Respectively, Astrobotic indicated in 2011 that they were reserving naming rights, as well as selection of the planned location for the lunar landing, for their payload customers. We have to sell a lot of payload to make the economics work. The customers will decide where we go." Later, the rover continued to be called, Red Rover, and the lander was now called, Griffin. Astrobotics, technologies enabling exploration of skylights, lava tubes, and caves, was a Phase I selection for NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts NIAC. In April 2011, Astrobotic received a $599,000 two-year contract to develop a scalable gravity offload device for testing rover mobility in simulated lunar gravity under NASA's Small Business Technology Transfer Program STTR. In May 2012, David Gump left the position of president of Astrobotic and John Thornton took the reins. On April 30, 2014, NASA announced that Astrobotic Technologies was one of the three companies selected for the Lunar Catalyst Initiative. NASA is negotiating a three-year no-funds exchanged Space Act agreement saw. The Griffin lander may be involved. On June 2, 2016, Astrobotic Technology announced a new design of its lunar lander, Peregrine Peregrine, along with two new industry collaborators. Airbus Defense and Space signed a Memorandum of Understanding to provide engineering support for Astrobotic as it refines the lander's design, which Thornton said is approaching a preliminary design review. For us at Airbus Defense and Space, the Moon is a very important topic," said Bart Reinen, Senior Vice President of On-Orbit Services and Exploration at Airbus Defense and Space. Astrobotic is what we see as being the frontrunner in the world of commercial lunar transportation. Astrobotic also announced a separate agreements with shipping company DHL, which will serve as the official logistics provider for Astrobotic. DHL will provide shipping for components of the spacecraft, and for the completed Peregrine lander from Astrobotics facilities to the launch pad. Moreover, we also see potential opportunities to develop the partnership further in the future, and explore how we can integrate our activities even more creatively with Astrobotic," said Aryan Sissing, Senior Vice President of Corporate Brand Marketing at DHL. He said later that could include supporting extraterrestrial logistics in regard to moon projects of the future." In December 2016 Astrobotic slipped their estimated launch date to 2019 and separated from the Google Lunar X Prize. In October 2017 NASA extended its Lunar Catalyst Agreement for two years. Topic. Commercial payload pricing 
By 2010, the company had priced payload carried to the lunar surface at $700,000 per pound $1,500,000 per kilogram with an additional per payload fee of $250,000 to cover the cost of integration and to provide communications, power, thermal control and pointing services. By 2011, Astrobotic had raised the payload price and made a distinction between payload fixed to the lander and payload carried on the lunar rover. The revised baseline prices are $1,200,000 per kilogram $540,000 per pound for lander payload and $2 million per kilogram $910,000 per pound for rover payload, with the additional integration fee unchanged at $250,000 per payload. Beyond the standard inclusions of 300 watt-hours of power, and 100 megabytes of data transfer, per kilogram of mass purchased, pricing has been established for the purchase of additional power or lunar-to-Earth data transfer. <laughs> <laughs> lunar missions In April 2011, Astrobotic contracted with SpaceX for a Falcon 9 launch on a lunar mission for as early as December 2013. The mission was intended to deliver a lander, small rover and up to about 240 pounds, 110 kilograms of payload to the surface of the moon. A payload user's guide for researchers on preparation of their instruments was released in early March 2011. In April 2011, Astrobotic stated that follow-on lunar missions were tentatively planned for 2015 and 2016. Both to be flown on Falcon 9 launch vehicles, with the same total mission payload as the first mission, 210 kilograms, 460 pounds, or 110 kilograms, 240 pounds customer payload if the 100 kilograms, 220 pounds rover is included on the mission. The 2015 mission was named Polar Excavator, now Icebreaker, would target the lunar North Pole, and was nominally planned for July 2015. This expedition's rover was to be Polaris. By 2011, the 2016 mission was to be customer-driven, and land at a destination that was to be selected by the customer. By August 2011, per version 2.4 of the user's guide, there had been two small changes to the mission manifest with the first mission now aimed for either an Apollo site or a skylight entrance to a lava tube, and the launch date was changed to a range, December 2013 to April 2014. By October 2011, Astrobotic had delayed the lunar mission launch date to late 2014 or early 2015 indicating that they were still under contract to SpaceX for a Falcon 9 mission by 2012 the astrobotic mission on the SpaceX Falcon 9 was rescheduled for October 2015 in October 2015 a Polaris rover was to carry out the same or similar tasks to NASA's Resolve a model of the Polaris rover was unveiled in October 2012. By February 2015, Astrobotic further delayed the Moon mission to the second half of 2016, but then contracted with two other GLXP teams, including Team Hakuto and Team Angelicvim. The agreement was to launch the rovers of all teams on a single SpaceX Falcon 9, which would then use the Astrobotic Griffin lander to touch down on the surface of the Moon. After landing on the lunar surface, all teams would have competed against each other to achieve the objectives and win the GLXP prize. It is now planned for late 2019. In June 2016, Astrobotic unveiled the Peregrine Lunar Lander, which is a smaller version of Griffin, a lander Astrobotic has previously proposed for lunar missions. Among the differences between the two designs is a change in propulsion. While Griffin uses a single large thruster, Peregrine uses a cluster of five IS-100 thrusters, built by Aerojet Rocketdyne and based on the divert and attitude control system thrusters it developed for missile defense applications. In July 2017, Astrobotic announced an agreement had been reached with United Launch Alliance ULA to launch the first Peregrine lander aboard an Atlas V. This announcement seemingly indicates Astrobotic cancelled plans to launch on a Falcon 9. One item planned to be aboard the lander is a library, in micro print on nickel, which will include Wikipedia contents and Long Now Foundation's Rosetta project. As of May 2018, its first lunar lander mission is reported to have 12 customers, and is planned to be launched in 2020 on an Atlas V rocket. Topic. See also Exploration of Mars Exploration of the Moon Lunar Rover Topic. References
Topic: External links. Official website. Astrobotic Technology Payload User Guide V2.5, undated month, 2011. Pricing valid through December 31, 2011. Astrobotic Technology Payload User Guide V2.1, April 2011. Astrobotic Technology Payload User Guide V2.0, March 2011. Carnegie Mellon Lunar Rover Astrobotic Google Lunar X Prize page